Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice problem. We have 5 to the power m plus 5 to the power 3m is equal to 10. And we have to find the value of m. But before we begin, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, help me grow this channel faster by subscribing. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. First, we write this equation as 5 to the power m plus 5 to the power m or to the power 3 and this is equal to 10. Now from here we will let n equal to 5 to the power m. Now putting this into the equation we have n plus n to the third power is equal to 10. Now from here let's arrange those with the highest power first and then equate everything to 0 so that we have n to the third power plus n minus 10 is equal to 0. Awesome. Now let's pay attention to this n over here. This is the same as negative 4 plus 5, right? So in place of this n, I'm going to write this. So the equation becomes n to the third power minus 4n plus 5n then minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, considering these two terms, you can see we can factor n, right? So, we have n into n to the second power minus 4. Then, from here, we can factor 5. So, we have n minus 2 over here, and this is equal to 0. Now, let's go ahead and then pay attention to what is here. Now, we have n to the second power minus 4. This is the same as n to the second power minus 2 to the second power and this is difference of two squares and it can be expressed as n plus 2 times n minus 2 right so in place of this n to the second power minus 4 i'm gonna put this whole thing so we have n into n plus 2 times n minus 2 then plus 5 into n minus 2 here and this is equal to 0. Great. Now you can see we have n minus 2 here then we also have it here. So let's take it out so that we get n minus 2 times. Now from here you can see from this whole term if we take n minus 2 we are left with n into n plus 2. So we have n times n plus 2 here. Then from this side we are left with 5. And this is equal to 0. So I will keep this. We have n minus 2 times. Now let's multiply this n across so that we will get n to the second power plus 2n plus 5. And this is equal to 0. Now at this point, we can say that n minus 2 is equal to 0 or n to the second power plus 2n plus 5 is equal to 0. Now solving for n from this equation, straight away you can see that n is equal to 2. Now from this quadratic equation, let's find out whether it is having real roots. So let's use the discriminant expression, which is b to the second power minus 4ac. Now we have b to be 2, so we have 2 to the second power minus 4 times a, a is 1, then c is 5, so we have 5 here. Now 2 to the second power is 4 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 5, that is 20. So we have 20 here. 4 minus 20 is negative 16. And you can see that negative 16 is less than 0. So it means that this quadratic equation here has no real root. So we are not going to consider it at all. So the value of n to this equation is n equals 2. Now remember, initially we said let n equal to 5 to the power m. So when n is equal to 2, we have 5 to the power m is equal to 2. Now let's take log in base 10 on the both sides of the equation so that we get log 5 to the power m is equal to log 2. Now let's bring this one to the front so that we get m log 5 is equal to log 2. Since we are looking for m, let's divide each side of the equation by log 5. 
the 5. So that this one will cancel this. Now we have m is equal to log 2 over log 5, which is the same as log base 5 of 2. Now if you type this on a calculator, we have m approximately equal to 0 0.4306. Seven. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video.